Hello, welcome to all. Today I am going to show you uh, one of the important plant that is uh, uh, having Cleistogamous flowers. Have you know about Cleistogamous flowers I think and the plant is nothing but Comilena bengalensis. Okay, so in this nature uh, uh, we can find uh, Comilena bengalensis. This plant uh, you can see these are the Chasmogamous flowers and these flowers they are open, right? Pollination takes place here, cross pollination takes place in this flower. But now I am going to pluck this plant so that I want to show you the Cleistogamous flowers. So, so carefully see I am plucking the um, plant. Okay, see now in this uh, roots here you can see the plant which is having birds. So these are the birds. See these birds they are they never open. Okay, I think it is uh, visible, right? So see here, this is the this is the bud. This bud it's it never opens. It never opens. So the flowers which never opens are called as the Clistogamous flowers. So here this plant it bears both Clistogamous flowers and Chasmogamous flowers. So see again, once again. So these are the Chasmogamous flowers and these are the Clistogamous flowers. Right, so these uh, uh, chasmogamous flowers they show cross pollination, whereas uh, these clistogamous flowers they are showing self pollination. Why? Because these flowers they never open because they are there in the soil, so there is no chance to open these flowers. So they are like that only, and uh, they are they consist of both the sex organs and male and female. That's why they perform autogamy. Autogamy means self pollination, right? So this is about uh, Comilena bengalensis which consists of both the flowers those are chasmogamous flowers and cleistogamous flowers thank you